Hello and welcome to my video today. I have changed four batteries now in different cars for owners in the local area. I've been helping out trying to get those replaced since a lot of the batteries now are over a year old and are nearing the end of their lifetime, especially since the early software was so hard on the 12 volt batteries. Luckily, the latest software 2.0 and higher does treat the 12 volt battery much better. I hope to see will be reflected in longer lives for the new 12 volt batteries that are being installed. But the point of today's video is I encountered the first major setback in replacing the battery in this car that I just worked on today. So let's get started. Here's a close up of the busted bolt for the terminal. As you can see, roughly around here is where it broke off. Here's the new one, which is identical in manufacturer using the same washer and the same nut at the end. So as you can see, it's quite a bit longer and you need that length to fit through the terminal on the positive side. So I'm not sure if people have been breaking the positive or negative terminal more, but this is the first time I've personally broken one of these on a vehicle. So kind of a hassle. I had to order these on Amazon since I couldn't find them locally. And I did luckily have this delivered the next morning since I have an Amazon warehouse not that far away. So this is uh, what is needed. This is commonly used for, if you look at the label here, this is what it came in, but it's known for GM and VW products commonly used in their battery terminals. So I'll have the link in the video description. It's probably a good idea to have a set of these. The pack comes with two, one for the positive and one for the negative terminals. I only needed one, so now I have a backup since I do help out a lot of people locally replacing their 12 volt battery. So I'm definitely gonna have at least one of these in stock in case it happens again. All right, so we are on the positive terminal bus bar and this is the fourth battery that I've replaced, but the first time I've had a problem with the terminal bolt. As you can see here, this one broke in half. Here's the replacement one. And you can see it's twice as big. So I am going to pull up on the positive bus bar, reinsert the new terminal bolt in. Then I'm going to put the washer and the nut on top and then tighten everything down. There are clips holding on the bus bar on both sides. I just got to lift those up so it becomes loose. And then I need to disconnect this. So I'm going to take the bolt right here, the new one. This goes right here. So I am going to insert it like that. Then I put the washer over the top, then the nut. Just hand thread it and then I just push it down over the positive terminal again. 
make sure it goes all the way down into place. There are two clips here. Sometimes you may need to move those out of the way so that it will snap into place. I am gonna gently tap it. There we go. This is super tight here, so uh, you wanna have the top of the terminal flush. I'll show you a closer look here. The top of the terminal here should be flush with the surrounding bracket. And then what we do now is we'll tighten up this 10 millimeter nut right here, and then we're done. So then I put the cover on and we can close up. There we go, nice and tight. Put the cover back on. It snaps, it has hooks on this side of it and then two snaps on the front and those will snap into place. And we are now good. So that's about it for the video today. I showed you how I did the replacement for the bolt that is on the terminal. In my case, it was in the positive bus bar terminal, though this can also happen on the negative terminal. And as I said before, this is something I haven't seen, but I have heard of happening. And luckily I did have a link for these on Amazon. I drove all around town yesterday at at least six different auto parts stores trying to find this particular part. And this one is for GM and VW. And I guess if I went to possibly one of those dealerships, I could have found this, but the generic auto parts stores did not have anything that even approached the look of these terminal bolts. So I recommend purchasing a set of these on Amazon they're only like five bucks each, or I think 10 bucks for a pair to have if you're planning to replace the 12 volt battery in your car. Can't hurt to have these uh, just in case, because in my case, I was lucky enough to have Amazon ship me the next morning, the replacement part, and I was able to fix that on the car. So just letting you know, it's something to look out for when you're changing the 12 volt battery. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.